Well, uh, this is a good time of year. It's uh, coming up Halloween, and I have fond memories of Halloween uh, years back in the 40s, uh, or late 40s. Uh, what we used to do, uh, all the businesses would, uh, like Ernie McCarty, Harry Underhill, they would throw out a bushel of apples around between 4 and 4.30, and we'd all rush out and gather all the apples up off the ground, and then we'd rush to the next door until we finally got to uh, Logie's at that time. And uh, some of the stores would throw out uh, candy kisses, and we'd have a ball just running after all this stuff. Um, other than and Halloween, I can't remember us going out trick-or-treating until probably uh, maybe in the early 50s and there was no such thing as costumes then. We had uh, maybe an old nylon stock and we put over her face and so on, but that was the uh, fond memories of Halloween for me. Now, winter months, that was fun. We used to uh, go sliding on the road, would you believe? Up at the old Maggie Price place, we'd uh, Maybe we'd have a cardboard or an old piece of linoleum or a high runner sled. There wasn't many cars at that time. So we'd slide over the hill, maybe down to Logie's where the, uh, the uh, two souls used to be. And uh, sometimes they'd sand the hill and the boys would take a broom and sweep it all off. And, but if we saw Hare Moody coming, we'd all take off like you wouldn't believe. That was good memories of the old times, and kids always stayed out and slid, and never was in the house like the kids are today. Other fond memories. Huey Underwood, uh, Huey Underwood used to have a milk cart, and he'd have his old horse and sleigh, and he'd deliver milk, glass bottles, to all the people in the village. And sometimes the kids would jump on the back and have a drive, and uh, he had a herd of cattle, and they used to have a fence up there in where they call the old red gate and they'd have a red gate there so the cattle wouldn't uh, wouldn't go onto the row onto the tracks because they were afraid of the trains coming and they might run into them other than that and we used to swim there a lot too we used to have great there's fond memories of, of all that old stuff also first tv uh us as kids i think herb underhill he had a garage down across from where the post office is now, and uh, he was probably the only one that had TV at the time. And after church on Sunday evening, we'd all rush down, oh, probably 20 kids, we'd all sit around the floor, and he'd have the TV going, and we'd watch probably Amos and Andy, or, uh, I can't remember, but Amos and Andy was one of the ones that I, I remember. And we'd sit there, and if anybody spoke up, you'd all say, shh. But those are very fond memories.